guys thanks for tuning in again um basically i wanted to talk to you guys today about a topic that is really annoying me because people are very ignorant um first of all there is a picture that is going viral it started off having 20,000 likes um and it is just basically a picture of my cousin and his father who's basically like an uncle to me um the uncle had posted a picture saying um 19 years later it was either 18 or 19 years later um and he's still laying up under my arm and i'm going to insert the picture so you can look at it and tell me if you see anything wrong with the picture or if it's disturbing in any way Because clearly a lot of people are saying that this picture disturbs them or that it seems very gay um, um, for the son to be laying under the father's arm and that if it was a mother and daughter it would be completely different and I'm just here to say that that is a bunch of bullcrap um, people really have the nerve to comment under this picture and write disgusting things um, I will also post the article so you guys can read it and I made a comment about it earlier on my Facebook and I was just setting the record straight first of all neither one of these men are gay my cousin is not gay um, he plays basketball he makes great grades he dresses impeccably and on top of that he loves his father and he loves his brother and his other sister and then Eric he is a producer for his own little music business that he's got going on for an artist named Mark Battles. Um, I wanted to just look at a picture and say the fact that a father is loving his son and the fact that the son is loving his father and he's laying up under his father's arm is gay. That says a lot about this society. For one, it just proves to me that we are living in hell on earth every single day. His This picture is viewed in a negative light to some people and to me that just makes me think that like okay so for those of you who find it disturbing are you gay uh, are you strugg struggling yourself with your own sexuality um, is this something that maybe you need to look at within yourself and figure out hey what's my problem or should you say maybe I should do something better with my time maybe I should go actually you know do some productive things instead of saying that something of a picture of this guy and his son is gay um, it is absolutely repulsive. It is ridiculous for people to even comment about that. Um, and before we go any further, I would like to say I don't have anything against gay people whatsoever. Um, God teaches you to love every single person despite what it is that they believe or what they don't believe. Um, it's just the sin that it is that you're supposed to hate. And um, you're supposed to love everybody regardless. I don't have a problem with gay people. I love gay people. I have gay friends. Um, so I don't want anyone to get that twisted or to try to misconstrue what it is that I'm saying. Looking at a picture and saying it's gay and they're falsely accusing um, these two people of being gay is a problem. And the fact that they're my family at that is also a problem. And it just goes to show you that society is really on a backslide. Um, everyone keeps saying how we're so moving forward and how change is happening and um, the fact that they are making it to where you can go into a women's restroom and say for the day, oh, I'm a woman today when you were legally born a man. Those things are looked at as okay and they're completely acceptable people don't question anything like that no one is speaking out on these things um, especially people in higher positions which is a whole nother topic but that really irritates me if you're on a high platform it is your job to stand up and say something for these people and all this violence that is going on and in, in the world and especially Chicago that's why I'm proud of Kaepernick but that's a whole nother topic but the fact that they frown upon this picture and they accept these other things that say you can be whatever gender you want to be for the day. You can wear women's dresses and find it okay. And um, you can do whatever you want to do. You can wear a wig inside of a store if you're a man and you can claim that you're a woman. That is okay. But for you to actually be there for your child from birth all the way up until now that he's a teenager, that's a problem. Because, obviously, no one is seeing the beauty in the picture. 
from the beginning of his conception all the way until now he is still present in his life and that says a lot because a lot of you negroes out there are not even there for your kids at all and i feel like if a lot of these guys out here actually had that type of love in their life they wouldn't be out here mistreating these women they would treat their wives and their girlfriends better but they would actually have a good life and they wouldn't be locked up they wouldn't be out here killing other people they wouldn't have such violence as they do now and they honestly don't have god in their lives because if they did they would understand the importance of the role of a father and it's basically media that is doing it it is brainwashing everyone it is emasculating our black men. They have them in dresses and skirts and saying that that is acceptable. They want to destroy marriages. They want to destroy um, families. They want to have the fathers walk out on their children. And every black movie that is portrayed, dang near has the father walking out. And some of that is true, but there is also people out there and fathers out there who are still there for their children. I see people every day who are in loving relationships and whose fathers are still there. And it's almost like a rare thing for mothers and fathers and the children to still live in the same household. They look at you like, what? Like, you have a dad? Like, I don't have a dad. So moral of the story is I feel like a lot of these people are either jealous um, because they didn't have fathers around in their lives the way that he did. Um, they're either gay and struggling with their own identity and they're trying to be undercover brothers and they're out here trying to accuse someone who's obviously straight and who just loves their father and the father loves their son of being gay when they're really not. They're just mad because they can't be out there um, and they're just finding anything to just nitpick. And then three, the fact that they don't have God in their lives or that their father walked out on them or brainwashed. I don't know what the situation is. It's just, it's really sad and I was really annoyed by it today. I really had to make a video about it and there's so much more that I need to say but I don't want this video to be too long. Um, I just really am all over the place with what I am trying to say but I hope you guys really grasp the concept of it. Like, we are black people. We need to stand together. We already have different races coming in just trying to just tear us apart but we ourselves are doing it to each other we need to stand united because we are one like i don't have a problem with any other races white black filipino asian mexican i really don't care i love everybody and it just makes me mad when our own race is talking down on each other like you should be applauding that photo you should be that should be an exemplary photo for you to say hey my dad wasn't in my life I want to be like that I want to have that when I grow up or I want to be that type of role model for my child when I grow up or whatever these young people say goals that should be a goal right there um, it's Psalms 94 16 I believe that says who will speak up for me against the wicked like God sees all these evil things and he sees the way that people are talking and the way that they view the things in this world. They think that these worldly things and the, the things that the media is teaching them is correct when it is the opposite of what the word of God said. And that's why I felt on my heart I was obligated to say something about it because I feel like that it is evil and it is wicked and th this world is wicked and a lot of the things that's happening in the world right now is wicked we're not moving forward not as christians not in the views of christian we are not moving forward we are moving backwards we are backsliding and satan is trying to take over he's trying to create a society that is godless and he is trying to get a lot of people to basically be against god and i'm not standing for that at all i will always speak up on his behalf and i'm not saying that i I'm the best Christian out here. I have my faults and my struggles every single day, just like anybody else. Me as a Christian, I have to set some type of example. I have to speak out. I can't just let these wicked ways of the world be okay and say that that's gay. That is not gay. Being there for your children is not gay. Showing love for your children is not gay. They act like he's on top of him. I just really find it a problem, and I really want you guys' input on this situation. Um, be respectful, please. I will not tolerate anyone being disrespectful on my channel. You will get blocked. You will get banned. All the above. I don't play when it comes to stuff like that. Um, and I'm very straightforward with my delivery. And I, I really pray that I did not offend anybody. If I did, I apologize. That is not my intention whatsoever. I am simply just trying to state a fact here. Um, 
that's going on in our culture, our, com our community, and in this world, and how a lot of us need more love, we need more compassion, and this place will be a lot better than what it is today. Um, thank you guys so much for listening. Um, follow me at Key Loves God. Please like this video. If you want more real topics like this or other things, I would really love to talk about it. You guys know how I am. Um, and if you don't want to hear about these topics, that's fine too. Um, thank you for watching anyway. And you guys, please just share this video because I feel like a lot of people have been brainwashed to this day and age and this generation and they are so dumbed down it is ridiculous and it's very sad and i hate to see it so we need more and more positive people to speak on the good things um again please like share um subscribe to my channel and i'm almost at 3,000 subscribers <laughs> i can't believe it thank you guys so much i can't believe 3,000 people want to watch me like that is crazy or listen to me talk and rant i just it blows my mind thank you guys so much i love you guys from the bottom of my heart um leave your viewpoints down below and um i'll see you guys coming up soon have a blessed week